And I welcome you back to the Debrenic channel and today we are talking about Lake Mead We are going to be talking about Lake Powell as well And we're going to talk about Lake Havasu and we are going to be talking about the Colorado River and the Rocky Mountains As there's big snows coming to the Colorado River and the Rocky Mountains We are going to highlight it and tell you when it, to be expecting it it is a little ways out, so without further ado, let's roll right over to windy.com and we will start talking about this. We're going the next 24 hours, and you can see over here between Farmington and Grand Junction, you're going to get 0 0.6 inches of snow, and this is snow in 0 0.1. We go over to the rain accumulation map, and you can see that there's going to be some rain here, especially right over Lake Powell, so this is good news. Six tenths of an inch, and it's a wide swath going all the way back to Farmington, which is going to get a quarter inch of rain and over here to Lake Powell itself six tenths of an inch in Richfield Utah 0 0.3 inches of rain and this is the next 24 hours and we'll go to the radar and see what is going on just for kicks here and see what's up and you can see this rain moving in we go to the last 12 hours you can see this thing went right over Lake Mead in Las Vegas so they had a lot of rain and they got this big monster going right over here so the lake should rise some and with this rain coming over here that's good news we roll out and we're gonna go back to the rain accumulation we're gonna go for the next three days not much changes we go to the next five and check this out one inch down here at Lake Powell that is fantastic news and up here 1.38 and check out Salt Lake City here 2.6 inches in the Green Rivers right here and you got it at 1.59 and then you got the Colorado over here so the whole Colorado River system all the way to Lake Powell is pretty well covered with some some precipitation so this is very good news we'll take what we can get right so anyway we go the next 10 days and this thing really lights up. Check out over here, 3.48 inches of rain here near Salt Lake City, Utah, and in the Colorados, especially 1.57, and up here, 2.26. And this is rain accumulation. Now we are gonna go over to the snow accumulation, and boom. Colorado's going to have 9.2 inches of snow over here 11 inches up here by Salt Lake City 20 inches and then up here 11.4 if we scoot in you can see this is right at the beginning of the Green River 27 inches this will be good for Flaming Gorge right here and over here by Steamboat Springs 8.7 so it's, it's still a little ways off and it's not widespread but it's definitely something to be thinking about and hopefully it will come to pass we will be watching this 27 inches it's almost two inches of snow and then this big old swap right here 21 inches it's roughly right around two inches of rain so this is fantastic news for the Colorado River system we need this we need more of it it's a start we'll take what we can get I want to go to the snow depth to see what is going on and you can clearly see there's just not a whole lot of snow depth one inch of snow just to the east of Salt Lake City and then down here you got 0 0.3 and over here just to the west of Denver and Colorado Springs you got a half inch so you don't have a lot of snowpack yet but we are starting to get to that point where it won't be much longer as we roll in here it in Aspen here it's 62 but up here in the up here they have snow so that's what we got going on let's, let's roll over to see where the lake is currently and we'll see what is going on the snowpack is 105% of average. So they're saying that it's really good, but the total precipitation of average is 57%. So that's not so good. Lake Powell is currently 413 feet deep at the dam and the last reading of 3545.30 on October 4th 2021 Powell was last within two inches of this elevation yesterday there is currently two trillion three hundred and sixty three billion five hundred and seventy six million forty eight thousand four hundred fifty seven gallons of water in Lake Powell and we are 1% through the water year. This is day 5 of 365, 360 more to go for the water year of 2022. So there you have that and the total release of water so far for the first five days. Total release for water year is 52,309,000 acre feet. So they're releasing a little over 10,000 acre feet a day. So there you have that. And the minimum required has gone down. It's down to 7,500 instead of 8 million as it was last year. So there you have that. And Lake Powell is down 50.3 feet from one year. 
and Lake Powell is down 0.3 from the high for the water year. So they're saying it's dropped 0.3 and this is kind of good news I guess instead of it being 2 feet it's only Lake Powell is down 1.45 feet over these last 14 measurements and he actually had some rise here on saturday and sunday was an even day and yesterday was 0.3 so we'll be watching this very carefully to see if it starts to rise with this precipitation coming i'm sure it will especially if they get three or four inches of rain now some of this will come in snowpack and that's what we want that way it doesn't melt off as long as it doesn't come with the big warm-up so we'll be watching this let's roll down to lake mead and see what is going on down at lake mead the last reading for Lake Mead was 1,067.60 feet October 4, 2021. And of course, we are 1% through the water year, as I just said. Lake Mead was last within 2 inches of this elevation on October 3rd, 2021. So yesterday, the total release of water for 2022 year is 84,120 acre feet in 5 days. That is a little over. They are releasing 16,800 acre feet a day. So that's what you got going on there. This is 0.93 of the minimum release 9 million acre feet. So they're required to release 9 million acre feet. We have the, the Bureau of Reclamation saying that they had to do water cuts this year, but yet they're releasing the same amount for 2022 as they were for 2021. That was 9 million acre feet. Now last year they released way more than that. They released 9,333,000 acre feet, which is more. Now you got them releasing 9 million acre feet. If this continues at the current rate, you're going to end up with 6,132,000 acre feet released. Now they are probably going to release more than that as they did last year. They were at 9,333,000, at least on my last video. So that is very interesting. And and the water cuts are supposed to be coming through now if you do the math the water cuts will come through but they saying that their minimum required even for Lake Powell is the same as it was as it's supposed to be 7,500,000 acre feet. So what gives here? I, I don't understand that. And we'll be watching this very carefully like a hawk. So by content, Lake Mead is 34.82% of full pool of 25,877,000 acre feet. And the lake is down 15.62 feet from one year ago today. And the Lake Mead is at a low for the water year and down 0.11 feet from the high. And that 0.11 is come from today because the lake has been rising every day up until today and it's down 0.11 feet and Lake Mead is down 0.01 feet over these measurements so that is what you got going on at Lake Mead we'll go down to Lake Havasu hi Brad I hope everything's well Lake Havasu is down 0.19 feet from one year ago today and that is what you got going on there the last reading is 448.39 feet and the total release for water year of 2022 is 65,495 acre feet and this is 1% of last year's water release of 6,395,841 acre feet and actually Lake Havasu is up 1.26 feet over these last 14 measurements and the lake is dropping in the last three readings so that is all I have for tonight thank you guys for stopping by I hope this storm does come to pass and we get a lot of rain and a lot of precipitation as far as snow or rain it'll be a good thing and you guys have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next one god bless